very rarely paint with a brush. It's mostly with like rags and stuff. Kind of a, more of a physical thing too. I've gotten really visceral with paintings and thrown stuff at them. Like thrown a spatula at it and it's gone right through the canvas. Sometimes I just get really kind of crazy. Mark Acetelli is one of LA's most exciting young painters. I'm using spray bottles and a brush just to push the paint around and, and let it do its thing. I guess what you get when you're kind of self-taught and you find happy accidents that work. His provocative, soulful, and stirring drip figures and apocalyptic landscapes have caught the highly trained eyes of collectors in London and celebrities. Michael Jordan owns one of Mark's paintings. This whole series of paintings are very soul-like. I call them the dripping souls. The response was fantastic. We had a couple hundred people uh, come through the show. And we'll be uh, showing some of your landscapes next. Right, right. After pounding the pavement for several years, taking his portfolio door to door, hoping a gallery would give him a shot, his moving mixed media canvases are now in the esteemed Left Coast Galleries in Studio City, California, where he was recently part of a major show. I saw his work in a gallery about three years ago and fell in love with it. I just think it's very deep, it's very emotional, and when you meet Mark, it explains itself. I was um, playing music most of my life since I was like 13. I just got burned out. I uh, just needed something else to do. One painting led to another, and then this momentum just flowed out of me. With the painting, I was like, where have you been all my life? Mark counts Jackson Pollock, Basquiat, and Van Gogh among his influences. It's figurative expressionism, you know, with a little bit of Rauschenberg and uh, little things of pop art thrown in there. I like using the term elegance of decay with my paintings. I like to take a perfectly good painting and work back into it and distort it, break it down, build it back up, and it's kind of like on a cave wall or something. It's very primal. So I want to kind of get an ominous sky here, so just kind of work into it. I want to do it fast, too, get the verb. Mark creates his work in his loft in downtown Los Angeles, where there are stacks of canvases, many a tribute to his late mom, her passing still painful for Mark to talk about. Let's talk about the painting behind you. Mm -hmm. It's called Coming Home, and it's still in the, in the process of being completed, but um, this was actually a painting that my mom was working on when she um, passed way back, back in uh, November, and it was on her easel. So I decided to, in remembrance of her, recreate my version of it and have it just live on. You know, like she's still painting, but it's in my hand, you know? So it's my tribute to her. And his Dripping Soul series, also an ode to his mom. And on top it says, set it free, and uh, you know, she's free now. She's still, you know, around, and uh, you know, she's in the paintings, in a way. She lives on. Mark's elegant and edgy work has turned him into the artist to watch in LA's booming art scene. I feel that he has the potential and everything that it takes to become a star in the art world. I can look at this and go, yeah, I remember coming in this gallery three years ago, going, hey, I'd love to have a show here. And finally it turned into uh, fruition. Are you prepared for that kind of thing if it were to happen? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty grounded. I just paint, and if that comes along with it, great. If not, then I'd still be happy painting.